Traffic light is held up by three cables, and it's our job to find the value of the force tension all cables. Well, force tension three is holding the entire 170, so that's going to be a 170 newtons. So we have that one done really quickly. And then we notice force tension one and force tension two are both at 40 degrees, so that means they will share the weight in terms of holding this up. So let's take a look. In force tension one, we need to break this into x and y coordinates. So this is a force tension in the y direction. This is force tension in the x. And we'll do likewise with the vector on the left here. So this is force tension y and this is force tension x. Let's put vector hats on those so we know which way they're pointing. Now, I've not discriminated between force tension y because I realize since they're both 40 degrees, force tension 1 will equal force tension 2. So I can just call it force tension y and force tension x. Now we're not going to need to know force tension x. Uh, all those forces are there. They're not the ones that are holding up the weight okay, of this traffic light. So we will invoke the uh, first condition of static equilibrium. The sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. That's going to equal force tension y plus force tension y minus 170. Because we have that force up, this force up. And from the perspective of these two cables, this is a force tension 3 going downward. This equals the weight of our traffic light. So realizing this would then be 2 force tension y is then equal to 170. And force tension y then has to be equal to 85 newtons. And we're almost done. The 40 degree angle is here. We can also list it right here. 40 degrees there, we can list here. And then we have a, a triangle here. And uh, since our angle is here, this is our side opposite, and this is our hypotenuse, and that's what we're really trying to find. So uh, opposite sides of our angle is the sine function. So sine of 40 is then going to equal my force tension y, 85, uh, divided by my hypotenuse, which is a force tension. And then basically 85 divided by the sine of 40, and that is 132 newtons. And that is what our force tension 1 and force tension 2 are equal to.